Now, have we envisioned the war of the future in cinema? Something like this? However, the reality of the war is quite different from what we see in movies. Tiny sensors help the military literally hear threats from a distance. And artificial intelligence is combating propaganda. So what do the latest technological trends in warfare really look like? In October, major global media outlets such as CNN, Newsweek, Interest in Engineering, Independent and Business Insider reported on the Ukrainian cloak. Weighing just a few kilograms, it is compact, heat-resistant and protects against adverse weather conditions. Moreover, it shields against the enemy. At night, it essentially functions as an invisibility cloak, blocking thermal radiation and making soldiers invisible to thermal imaging devices. This is just one of the developments from the Ukrainian defense tech cluster Brave One. Launched in April, it aims to assist in implementing innovative solutions that enhance security and defense forces on the front lines and beyond. In just six months, the platform has already hosted over 700 defense tech projects. Currently, the priorities lie in four main directions. Ground robotic complexes, electronic warfare and reconnaissance, demining, artificial intelligence. And among them, there are some particularly interesting projects. For example, there is the combat robot RIS that can be used for delivering supplies or evacuating the wounded. Well, what if we add something more to it? Let's say Shabla, a remotely controlled fire module developed by the same company. It is equipped with a thermal imager and a video camera, a rangefinder, and most importantly, a machine gun of 762 or 127 caliber. So RIS plus Shabla is not just a courier or evacuation robot anymore. It becomes a combat machine for assault and defense, controlled by a human operator. The operator remains in a safe place, and the enemies? Well, thanks to this robot, not really. Dozens of Shabla combat turrets and RIS platforms are already proving themselves on the front lines. For instance, the renowned Wolfki da Vinci, Wolves of Da Vinci, are utilizing this system in the Kupiansk direction. The first factor for the enemy is practical. A machine gun is coming at you. The second is psychological. Because it's one thing when you are fighting against the living, and other when it's unmanned gadgets. Even if you kill it, you are just destroying a piece of metal. Despite my affection for this thing, it's just a piece of iron. And the third component is economic. This system costs about $22,000. Compared to the life of an infantryman, it's nothing. Another headache for the opponent can be posed by loot. A remotely controlled combat robot with a 360 panoramic camera and armor protecting against firearms and shrapnel. Loot meets enemies seriously with 10 hours of combat operation and a 762 caliber machine gun. A prominent representative in the field of artificial intelligence from the Brave One platform is Mantis Analytics. This system collects real-time data from social media and news outlets, identifying dangerous trends such as the onset of enemy propaganda or information attacks. All data is processed by artificial intelligence and relayed to the relevant authorities. For instance, Mantis Analytics quickly detected a disinformation campaign started in Russia based on fabricated quotes attributed to a famous marine fighter from Azovstal, Volina. The false narrative claimed that high-ranking U.S. military officials were present in Mariupol. Mantis Analytics reported this, and Ukraine promptly disproved the fabricated quotes. Speaking of countering mechanisms, Piranha offers a complete range of Ukrainian-made anti-drone solutions. For example, an anti-drone gun is capable of successfully jamming signals from drones, including those with first-person view FPV, at distances of up to 1.5 kilometers. The system also operates in a non-gun format. The functionality is expanded because you can attach other antennas. Then it's not a gun anymore. It's just an antenna and remote control that allows you to have a protective dome at range of 100 to 200 meters, ensuring that no drone can approach. Piranha can also operate while in motion, which helps to protect vehicles from FPV drones. In the next model, an active direction finder is planned, 
which will autonomously detect approaching enemy drones and suppress them without direct intervention from the operator. Protection from aerial threats is also provided by the Zvuk technology. Its name, translated from Ukrainian, means sound. The name is descriptive. The system, based on machine learning, literally listens to enemy cruise missiles, helicopters, drones and planes. Thanks to special sensors and machine learning, it does so with 99% accuracy from a distance. This aids air defense forces in striking the target and civilians in seeking shelter in a timely manner. One sensor costs only $500, but its coverage radius extends up to 10 kilometers. Another project, Falcons, also detects drones and any enemy device emitting radio signals, using radio-electronic methods rather than acoustic ones. Recently, Falcons and Zvuk joined forces to enhance each other's methods, increasing precision and the distance at which enemy targets can be detected. These are just a few examples of over 700 projects that have passed through Brave One. More than 70 of them have already received funding. In addition to the four priority directions, the cluster also engages in other defense technology areas, including reconnaissance, navigation, logistics, cybersecurity, protection and attack systems, and med tech. The strategic goal of Brave One is for Ukraine to be among the leaders in the global defense technology market, and they are already achieving this. Ukraine continues to defend the values of the free world, doing so in an intelligent, technological and modern way.